Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ivy. This is an ordinary blogger. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Please subscribe if you want to watch more videos like the ones that I have here. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about quarter two, how I did, what my ending grades were, um, and overall what I thought about the experience. So if you'd like to learn more about that, keep on watching. <laughs> Um, it was a really great quarter. I passed all of my classes, thank God. Um, so this quarter I had Anatomy and Physiology 1, uh, Nutrition, and um, Effective Communications. The Effective Communications and the Nutrition was online, um, and that went really smoothly. And then, of course, the Anatomy and Physiology was in-house at the school. Um, so yeah, we'll go over each of them individually, and I'll tell you uh, my grades on every single one of them, and um, kind of break it down per class. So, let's go! So, we will start with Anatomy and Physiology 1, because that will take the most time. <laughs> so, in Anatomy and Physiology, we of course learn about the body and how it works, um, I really enjoyed it. It was an amazing class. I thought that the teacher did a really great job teaching it. Um, the teacher was our biology teacher for from uh, quarter one, and he's also going to be our our an A and P two teacher. So that's really nice. It's easy. I wrote down all of the quizzes and the exam grades that I got, um, and then. We'll talk about them. Okay, I quickly ran and grabbed all of the quizzes so I could uh, tell you what they were about um, to kind of give you a better understanding of what my strengths and weaknesses were. So, quiz one was uh, body, body quadrants and like homeostasis and stuff like that. I got an A minus on that quiz. Quiz two was more of like the chemistry of the body, like how many elements there were, um, like ionic and covalent bonds and all that jazz. Um, and then that one, I got an A. And then I have no idea where quiz three is, but I got a B plus. I have no idea what it was, though. So I don't know what it was on. Um, so there's that. <laughs> quiz four, I got an A minus, and that one was on bones. A minus quiz on bones. Quiz five was my worst one. I got an F. It was on muscles. I'm not very good at muscles. It's my weakness. So there's that. <laughs> quiz six, I got a C. Not very great, but um, still okay, I guess. <laughs> and that one was on the physiology of muscles. And then... Quiz seven was our last one. I got a C as well. And this one was about uh, special senses and regular, like general senses. So that is that on the quizzes. On the exams, exam one I got a C on. And this one was on the first three quizzes, I believe. Um, so it was like homeostasis and the chemical portion of like the body and stuff like that and then also on like directional terms and um abdomen regions <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying so that was exam one i gotta see not great still passing <laughs> second exam i got a b plus this one was on bones um and I went I did surprisingly better than I thought that I was going to on this one I was really proud of myself um so that's pretty great and then the third exam 
I have no idea where the third exam went, but it was the one with muscles, I believe. Um, and I got a C on that one. So, not awful. And then the final, no, no, sorry, exam four was the medical vocab um, exam. And I got 100% on this one. So proud of it. Probably going to, like, frame it or something. Blessed. <laughs> and then on the final, I got a B plus. And in the overall class, I got a B. So... That is that. <laughs> um, I'm really happy with how this class went. I don't feel like it was too hard, um, but I also feel like it challenged me enough. I did take anatomy and phys in high school, and I did really great in that. Um, so I, I knew that this class would be a challenge enough, but also familiar in a sense. So I was really excited to see how how much I would remember, <laughs> how much, like, it would come back to me. Um, it is a lot more, it's a lot harder than the high school class, of course, but, um, yeah, it was, it was really great class. Glad I took it. Really excited for Anatomy and Fizz 2, which is this quarter, and, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much for Anatomy and Fizz. <laughs> Nutrition was an online class, and it was, uh, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't really excited for it, but it has come in handy a lot in my life, has made me think about um, how I need to better my life and better what I eat, um, and I knew that's exactly what it was going to do. It gave me a more positive look on nutrition, um, and definitely made it... You know <laughs> easier to pick better and healthier choices um, so um, since it was an online class we just turned in assignments um, we it was kind of the same setup as the English last quarter the very first quarter <laughs> and in the sense of it um, we, we had a discussion post and an assignment due every single week um, it was a little bit more fast paced than the English class, but it was the same kind of concepts. So, um, that's that. In that class, my final grade was 90%. So, um, wasn't too hard of a class at all. I think it was very manageable. So, for my communications class, <laughs> it was a little bit more fast paced than the nutrition class and the English class. Um, it was definitely a lot more work, um, a lot more research based, and a lot more like assignment based. I think we had a discussion and an assignment due every single week, and then every other week there was um, another assignment to add on to our like big assignment. Um, our big assignment was. Um, due on week 11 and we had to upload a YouTube video <laughs> um, and of a speech that we had been working on for the past 12 weeks so um, that's that <laughs> that's effective communications in my class I got an 89% so not bad at all a little uh, I think the YouTube video is a little bit much for an, a, a communications class for um, nursing, I don't know, I, I'm assuming a lot, a lot of other people are probably going to say that they had to do way worse stuff, so I won't complain too much, but it was obtainable, um, in my, in my lifetime, um, so yeah, that was Effective Communications. So overall, quarter two, I think I did a really great job. Um, I'm happy with all the grades that I got in all of my classes. I think I deserve them all. So um, yeah, that's that. I'm really looking forward to next quarter. Um, next quarter I have Anatomy and Physiology 2, Human Growth and Development, and then Sociology. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be a lot. <laughs> 
I'm luckily going part-time at work this week, so that'll probably help a lot with my scheduling with school and all that. Um, it got a bit much at the end of quarter two, um, just with everything, my own personal life mixed with school and work, um, mixed with my own mental health issues, you know? So, it got to be a lot, and so I finally caved in and decided to go part-time at work. Um, very terrified of it, but it does give me the freedom to be able to pick up whenever I can and um, whatnot. Me and Tanya went to um, a hot springs in southern Utah, um, just barely, and so I'll insert some clips of, of that fun time at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you'd like to watch uh, the few clips of videos that I have from the trip with me and Tanya, go ahead and watch the end of this video. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to watch more videos like this. Um, quarter three is coming up, so watch out for those videos. Watch out for <sighs> more clips of me being stressed. <laughs> um, please like this video if you liked it. Please comment down below any tips and tricks that you have for me to make these videos better. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Bye.